Few regular season games have as much pregame intrigue as this one. Drew Brees is out on injured reserve. Certainly, Jameis Winston is going to be the fill-in. It makes sense. Then on Friday, we find out Sean Payton called a reverse, and Taysom Hill would get his chance. So we start our four takeaways with the guy who turned into Hill's safety net. Welcome back, Mike T. It's been a rough season for Mike Thomas, but Sunday against the Falcons, we caught our first 2020 glimpse of the real Mike Thomas. Taysom Hill targeted Thomas 12 times. He targeted everyone else a grand total of 11 times. Thomas caught nine passes for 104 yards. In his five-year NFL career, it's his 22nd 100-yard game, but his first this season. The point is, if the Saints are going to advance in the playoffs, they need the real Mike T, the guy who's a fearless physical presence in the middle of the field, and Sunday he was. At number three, same theme other side of the ball. Cam Jordan had his 2020 breakout game Sunday. It was vintage Cam Jordan. He had three sacks, three tackles for loss, and three quarterback hits. It's the fifth time in his career that Cam Jordan has had at least two and a half sacks in the game. Four of those five games were against Atlanta. I'm not sure why that's funny, but it definitely is. Same point is with Mike Thomas. The Saints need Cam Jordan to be a star. The D-line on the whole got eight sacks, which is great. But for the Saints to get to the Super Bowl, their superstars have to be superstars. Sunday, for the first time in 2020, Cam Jordan was, and that is a good thing. Now, those eight sacks were really a product of terrific coverage. All game Saints DBs gave pass rushers an extra half second to get to Matt Ryan, and Ryan struggled badly. The easiest way to illustrate how the Saints secondary has turned it around the last few weeks is is by the quarterback ratings of the opposing quarterbacks. The Saints played well in the opener. Then four of the next five quarterbacks they faced picked them apart. They got better against Nick Foles and the Bears, but then look at the last three. This is the worst quarterback rating for Matt Ryan in seven years. That's how good the Saints pass coverage was Sunday, but as good as the secondary was, Taysom Hill stole the show. Hill's quarterback rating was a solid 108.9. If he did that all season, he'd be the fifth best quarterback in the NFL. The only reason it wasn't higher is because he didn't throw any touchdowns passes because he actually ran for two touchdowns. Taysom Hill wasn't perfect on Sunday, but he was really good. Now, the Saints only threw for 210 passing yards against the Falcons, which doesn't sound like great numbers, but 9.1 yards per pass is the best average per pass this season. And Hill led the Saints in rushing on a day when they ran for 168 yards. That is the best rushing day as a team on the season. The question has been asked a lot in the last year or so. Can Taysom Hill be the Saints quarterback of the future? The answer after Sunday's game, maybe. And that is my number one takeaway from the Saints dominating win over the Falcons.